Haitian cuisine, Wikipedia audio. Haitian cuisine consists of cooking traditions and practices from Haiti. It is a Creole cuisine, that originates from a blend of several culinary styles that populated the western portion of the island of Hispaniola, namely the French, African, Taino natives, and Spanish influence. Haitian cuisine, comparable to that of Criollo cooking and similar to the rest of the Latin Caribbean, but differs in several ways from its regional counterparts. History While the cuisine is unpretentious and simple, the flavors are of a bold and spicy nature that demonstrate a primary influence of African culinary aesthetic, paired with a very French sophistication with notable derivatives coming from native Taino and Spanish techniques. Though similar to other cooking styles in the region, it carries a uniqueness native only to the country and an appeal to many visitors to the island. Peppers and herbs are often used for a strengthening flavor. Dishes tend to be seasoned liberally. Bouillon, brochette, goat meat, cassave or cassave, chocolate decays or chocola laque, de canu, du riz blanche sauce poison noir or diri blan aks sauce pwanwa, du riz djon djon or diri ak djon djon, du riz a legume or diri ak legum, du riz a poise or diri ak pwa, du riz a poise rouges or diri ak pwa wowoy. Du riz a sauce poise or diri aks sauce pwa, griot, macaroni au gratin, marinades, pain haitien, pate haitien, a very popular savory snack made with a delicate puff pastry stuffed with ground beef, salted cod, smoked herring, chicken and ground turkey topped with spices for a bold and spicy unique flavor, peanut pralines. Pick lace or picklas, salad de bet raves, sauce ti malice or sos ti malice, soup jamu, tassot et bananes pasis or tazo ak banan peas, pool and sos. Levantine influences have made their way into the mainstream culture, due to an Arab migration over the years, establishing many businesses. Years of adaptation have led to these cuisines to merge into Haitian cuisine. Haiti was one of many Caribbean islands inhabited by the Taino natives, speakers of an Arawakan language called Taino. The barbecue originated in Haiti. The word barbecue derives from the word barabaku, found in the language of the Taino people of Caribbean and the Demucua of Florida and entered European languages in the form barbacoa. Specifically, the Oxford English Dictionary translates the word as a framework of sticks set upon posts. Gonzalo Fernandez de Oviedo y Valdez, a Spanish explorer, was the first to use the word barbaco in print in Spain in 1526 in the Diccionario de la Lengua Española of the Real Academia Española. After Columbus landed in the Americas in 1492, the Spaniards had seemed to have found native Haitians roasting animal meat over a grill consisting of a wooden framework resting on sticks and a fire made underneath that flames and smoke would rise and envelop the animal meat, giving it a certain flavor. Strangely enough, the same framework was used as a means of protection against the wild that may attack during middle of the night while at sleep. The barbecue not only survived in the Haitian cuisine, but was introduced to many different parts of the world and has numerous regional variations. Christopher Columbus landed at Mole St. Nicholas on December 5, 1492, and claimed the island he named La Isla Española for Spain. The Spanish established sugar plantations and made the natives work as slaves, 
however the harsh conditions and infectious diseases brought over by the Spanish sailors nearly wiped out the indigenous population by 1520 as the natives lacked immunity to these new diseases, forcing the Spaniards to import slaves from Africa to work these plantations instead. The Africans introduced okra, ackee, taro, pigeon peas, and various spices to the diet. In 1659, the French had established themselves on the western portion of the islands of Hispaniola and Tortuga by the way of Buccaneers. The Treaty of Ryswick of 1697, allowed the French to acquire the western portion of the island from the Spanish they had neglected. By the 1700s, the French had situated its control comfortably, successfully cultivating sugarcane, coffee, cotton, and cocoa from the African slave labor. When the Haitian Revolution ended and the people of Haiti won their independence in 1804 and established the world's first black republic, thousands of refugees from the revolution, both whites and free people of color, fled to New Orleans, often bringing African slaves with them, doubling the city's population. They also introduced such Haitian specialties as the red beans and rice and mirlatone to the Louisiana Creole cuisine. Since independence from France, the French influence has remained evident in the Haitian society, not only in the usage of the language but in the contributions to the cuisine. French cheeses, breads, and desserts are still common foods found at local stores and markets. Popular ingredients for preparing cuisine include Haitian cuisine is often lumped together with other regional islands as Caribbean cuisine, however it maintains an independently unique flavor. It involves the extensive use of herbs, and the liberal use of peppers. A typical dish would probably be a plate of riz cole auxiliary poys which is rice with red kidney beans glazed with a marinade as a sauce and topped off with red snapper, tomatoes, and onions. It is often called the Riz National, considered to be the national rice of Haiti. The dish can be accompanied by bouillon. Bouillon is a hearty soup consisting of various spices, potatoes, tomatoes, and meats such as goat or beef. Dishes vary by region. Rice is occasionally eaten with beans alone, but more often than not, some sort of meat completes the dish. Bean puree or sauce poise is often poured on top of white rice. The traditional Haitian sauce poise is less thick than the Cuban's black bean soup. Black beans is usually the beans of choice, followed by red beans, white beans, and even peas. Chicken is frequently eaten, the same goes for goat meat and beef. Chicken is often boiled in a marinade consisting of lemon juice, sour orange, scotch bonnet pepper, garlic, and other seasonings and subsequently fried until crispy. Pre-colonial cuisine Legume Haitienne is a thick vegetable stew consisting of a mashed mixture of eggplant, cabbage, chayote, spinach, watercress, and other vegetables depending on availability and the cook's preference. It is flavored with epis, onions, garlic, and tomato paste, and generally cooked with beef or crab. Legume is most often served with rice, but may also be served with other starches, including maize moulin, a savory cornmeal porridge similar to polenta or grits, petit mill, or blee. Other starches commonly eaten include yam, potato, potato, and breadfruit. These are frequently eaten with a thin sauce consisting of tomato paste, onions, spices, and dried fish. Chaka is a hearty stew consisting of hominy, beans, jamu, and meat. Boulette, are bread-bounded meatballs seasoned in Haitian fashion. 
Spaghetti is most often served in Haiti as a breakfast dish and is cooked with hot dog, dried herring, and spices, served with tomato sauce and sometimes raw watercress. One of the country's best-known appetizers is the Haitian patty, which are made with either ground beef, chicken, salted cod, smoked herring, and ground turkey surrounded by a crispy or flaky crust. Other snacks include crispy, spicy fried malanga fritters called acra, bananas pasis, and marinade, fried savory dough balls. For a complete meal, they may be served with griot, tassot cabrite or other fried meat. These foods are served with a spicy slaw called pick lace which consists of cabbage, carrot, vinegar, scotch bonnet pepper, and spices. Fried foods, collectively known as Frida Isle, are sold widely on the streets. Regional dishes also exist throughout Haiti. In the area around Jeremy, in the Grand Anse department at the southwest tip of the country on the Gulf of Ganov, a dish called Tonm Tonm, which is steamed breadfruit called lamb veritab mashed in a pylon, is eaten. Tonm Tonm is swallowed without chewing, using a slippery sauce made of okra, cooked with meat, fish, crab, and savory spices. Tonm Tonm is very similar to West African fufu. Another regional dish called pool aknwa, which is chicken with cashew nuts, is from the north of the country, in the area around Cap Haitien. Colonial Cuisine Popular Ingredients Waves of migration have also influenced Haitian cuisine. For example, immigrants from Lebanon and Syria brought kibbeh, which has been adopted into Haitian cuisine. Popular Foods Regional Dishes Beverages and Drinks Beer Rum the flavor base of much Haitian cooking is epis, a combination sauce made from cooked peppers, garlic, and herbs, particularly green onions, thyme, and parsley. It is also used as a basic condiment for rice and beans and is also used in stews and soups. Bouillon cubes are often used by Haitian cooks, especially with the increasingly imported Maggie brand. Beer is one of several common alcoholic beverages consumed in Haiti, often drunk at festivals, parties, and occasionally downed with a meal. The most consumed brand of beer in Haiti is Prestige, a mild lager with a light and crisp yet mildly sweet taste with a vague yet strong flavor reminiscent of several American-style beers. Prestige is brewed by Brasserie Nationale de Haiti. Clarin. Haiti is known internationally for its rum. The most well-known company in the country is the world-renowned Rum Bar Bancourt, one of the nation's finest and most famous exports by international standards. It is arguably the country's most beloved alcoholic beverage. It is unique in that the distilleries use sugarcane juice directly instead of molasses like other types of rum hence the added age in room to differentiate. The rum is marketed in approximately 20 countries and uses a process of distillation similar to the process used to produce cognac. Clarin is a distilled spirit made from cane sugar, that undergoes the same distillation process as rum, although less refined, and raw. It is sometimes referred to as a white rum because of the similar qualities. It is considered to be a cheaper option than standard room in Haiti and as a result it is consumed more. It is also used in voter rituals. Cremas, also spelled cremas, is a sweet and creamy alcoholic beverage native to Haiti. The beverage is made primarily from creamed coconut, sweetened condensed or evaporated milk, and rum. The rum used is usually dark. However, 
white rum is used frequently as well. Various other spices are added for additional flavoring such as cinnamon, nutmeg, anise, as well as miscellaneous ingredients such as the widely used vanilla extract or raisins. Recipes vary from person to person with a few differences in ingredients here and there. However the overall look and taste is the same. The beverage possesses a creamy consistency similar to a thick milkshake and varies from off-white to beige in color. It is a very popular drink, served regularly at social events and during the holidays. It is usually consumed along with a sweet pastry of some sort. The drink is often served cold however it can be served at room temperature. The beverage has become recently marketed in Haiti as well as the United States. Due to its tropical climate, juice is a mainstay in Haiti. Juices from many fruits are commonly made and can be found everywhere. Guava juice, grapefruit juice, mango juice, along with the juices of many citrus fruits are enjoyed. Juice is the de facto beverage because of its variety of flavors, easy production, and widespread accessibility. Malt beverages, which are non-alcoholic drinks consisting of unfermented barley with molasses added for flavor are commonly drunk. Fruit champagne-flavored cola curan, is arguably the most popular soda in Haiti and its diaspora as it is a stapled beverage since 1924. Cola Lake is also another brand of soda that comes in a variety of flavors including fruit cola. In the more urban areas of the nation, American beverages such as Coca-Cola and PepsiCo are also enjoyed. Milkshakes are also drunk regularly. Sweet, strong coffee is enjoyed throughout the nation. Since 1898, one of the oldest coffee brands, Café Selecto and the more recent Rebo, both offer great blends. Haitian coffee has a classic and rich taste of chocolatey sweet with mellow citrus highlights. Many types of desserts are eaten in Haiti ranging from the mild to sweet. Sugarcane is used frequently in the making of these desserts however granulated sugar is also used often. One very well-liked dessert is a shaved ice called fresco which can be whipped up quickly. Fresco is similar to an Italian ice, however it consists primarily of fruit syrup. The syrup is moderately thick and very sweet. It is frequently sold by street vendors. The sweet smell of this candy-like snack often attracts honeybees, a common sight on the streets. Pain potato is a soft sweet bread made using cinnamon, evaporated milk, and sweet potato. It is usually served cold from the refrigerator but it can also be eaten at room temperature. Akazan is a thick corn milkshake with a consistency similar to that of lay bowl, a type of cornmeal porridge. It is made using many of the same ingredients as pain potato consisting of evaporated milk, and sugar. Cremas Non-alcoholic Desserts List of Haitian dishes, sites, and others